I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation. So Mission Impossible and Rogue Nation is the fifth installment in the Mission Impossible franchise. And pretty much what this film is about is that Ethan Hunt and his team, the IMF, they've been shut down by the CIA. The CIA is like, look, you caused so much damage, we can't trust you guys. So the CIA shuts them down. But there's a secret organization that is trying to take down the IMF and is hunting down Ethan Hunt. So now Ethan Hunt and his team gotta take that organization down. And I gotta say, within the first 10 minutes of the film, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation tops Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. This movie kicks ass. Brad Bird did the fourth one and Brad Bird's an amazing director so he didn't come back for this one so I was like alright Christopher McQuarrie who directed Jack Reacher is going to direct this film. Let's see how it turns out and it's surprised the hell out of me. The directing in this film was really well done. I gotta give props to Christopher McQuarrie and the script overall the story was really intriguing. We saw in the trailer that okay Tom Cruise is attached to a plane and we're like okay now that's the big stunt. No in this film there are tons of more crazy stunts that Tom Cruise does. And that's also one of the positive things about this film is Tom Cruise in the role as Ethan Hunt. And as always, Tom Cruise kills it in this movie. Every action scene that he does, you buy it. And in the film, you really follow him as the lead. And Tom Cruise, like how I said, he is 50 years old. He doesn't even look 50. For his age, he is in terrific shape. I mean, I just look at him like, damn Tom Cruise, what kind of serum are you taking I need to take that so that when I turn 50, I can be like you and be a badass. And the whole cast all around, Ving Rhames, Jeremy Renner, and Simon Pegg, they all worked great together. And the guy who surprised me the most was Alec Baldwin because I felt that sometimes in the roles that Alec Baldwin has been in lately, he kind of phones it in. But in this movie, he didn't phone it in. He actually gave a really good performance. And I gotta say, Simon Pegg, as always in these Mission Impossible movies, he is freaking hilarious. The stunts in the action scenes in this movie are really well done because the action scenes, they're filmed beautifully. They don't have any shaky cam. And Tom Cruise, since he does all of his own stunts, it is so great to see that because almost every action scene is practical. There are some CGI moments there, but it's a perfect blend of the two. And you're so invigorated into that action scene that whenever the action scenes are happening, like, oh man, my heart is pounding. It is amazing to watch. And the biggest thing that surprised me about this movie was its villain. Now the villain of the film, at first I was like, okay, again, all these great action movies, so many great things about it, but yet here's another lame ass villain. But as the film goes on, the villain, I'm like, okay, oh, this is the villain I really liked. Is he the most greatest villain ever? No, I'm not saying, oh man, dude, he's one of the best villains in like the past five years. No, but the film definitely did have a great villain. Now, as for complaints for the film, I really don't have anything that major that I have a problem with the film. There are times where I was like, okay, that stunt, just in the midst of all these great action scenes that are happening, and since the story is really good, there are some moments that I happen, I'm like, oh, that didn't work well because of what the film was trying to go for. And then this stunt happens, like, what the heck, that doesn't go well with the story. Just a few minor nitpicks and a few things, I was like, okay, that kind of took me out. But overall, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is an incredible action film. It's not just a blockbuster film, it's like, okay, you turn your brain off and enjoy the film for its action scenes. No, the film has a really good story, the acting all around is great, it has a great feeling. And this movie shows that Tom Cruise ain't slowing down, man, he just keeps going even further okay he killed an edge tomorrow and in this movie he's saying look i'm tom cruise baby i ain't gonna stop now son so i'm gonna give mission impossible rogue nation an a minus there are a lot of great things about this film and it is a must see because this is the type of film that you have to see in the theaters kind of like how mad max and avengers okay those are the type of movies that you have to see in the theaters mission impossible rogue nation is one of those movies you have to rush out and go see this movie because it kicks Ass. So guys, that's my review from Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. What did you guys think of the film? Did you guys like it? Or were you like, uh, 
not that big of a fan of it. Please let me know in the comments below. Also guys, follow me on Twitter if you want to see me post cool stuff or make a fool out of myself. Please follow me on Twitter at NotAlexMontes. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day.